Welcome to a warmer 40,000 battery report. Today we have a brand new Tyranid Codex to show off, and Matthew from Mini Wargaming will be playing the Tyranids for you guys today. Taking a look at 1500 points of Iron Warriors, Chaos Space Marines, everybody's marked with the mark of Chaos Undivided, because that's the way we like it, and we have three characters. My Warlord today will be my Lord Discordant on a Hellstalker. There will be the uh, Flamer on this guy, not the Auto Cannon. We also have a Master of Possessions. And my freshly painted Chaos Sorcerer. Over in Battle Line, I got two units of Cultist Mobs. And two units of Legionnaires. So one of them, five-man squad, all with bolt guns and auto cannon. The other one, all chain swords. However, one of them does have a plasma gun. And there's a accursed weapon and a plasma pistol on the champion. I got a unit of my five Havocs. Five Possessed. And a Venom Crawler. And finally, we're playing Iron Warriors. We have to have a couple of squads of Obliterators. I'm going to deep strike in this battlefield. But who cares about any of that? Because you're here to see Tyranids! Tyranids! Yes! I'm so excited to play these. I gave Steve the choice of a couple of the new detachments, and he decided he wants to see the Vanguard Onslaught in action. The Vanguard is all about, well, you might guess it, getting into close combat and going really fast. So all the Tyranids in a Vanguard Onslaught can fall back and charge, but if you bring ones of the Vanguard keyword, which are things with wings or Gene Steelers, Lictors, stuff you would think of as Vanguard, they also can advance and charge. So everything in this list, except for one singular model, has the Vanguard keyword. So leading the whole thing will be the Death Leaper. He's the Warlord, that's right. The Death Leaper could be the Warlord. What does that do for the army? Nothing, nothing at all. It just means you don't have to bring more characters, but I don't know why you wouldn't bring more characters, so, but cool rule, Games Workshop, he's the Warlord. You can't give him enhancements or anything. And then we've got a Broodlord, and I gave him the Chameleonic enhancement, which gives him stealth, and his unit counts as always being in cover. And then he is joining a group of 10 gene stealers. Fear this unit. They are going to Rofflicopter through anybody else in melee. And then we've got a winged Tyranid Prime, and he's joining a group of Tyranid warriors with melee weapons because it is clear in the rules commentary that you share all your keywords, which means he gives them Vanguard. And also they can fly, because I realized that, which is strange, because the keyword is given to them. It doesn't really matter because they're not moving very far and fly doesn't do much. But yes, they can fly. You just can't see their wings. Then we've got a big group of 20 Hormigons. Because while they, do, oh, I guess they don't have the Vanguard keyword, but they can already advance and charge. So I kind of look at them as being Vanguard. And then we've got three Lictors and three Neuro Lictors. So these are spooky Lictors. They don't hit as hard, but they make everybody take Battle Shock near them, which is awesome. Well, not everybody, but some guys. And then I uh, rounded it out with three more min squads of Gene Stealers because I want them running around. They can advance and charge. They can actually be pretty strong on their own. Broodlord's really where it's at, but I only have one Broodlord right now. Otherwise, I probably would have put a second one in. And then lastly, we got a singular Ripper Swarm because I had 15 points left over. Oh, I did upgrade the Tyranid Prime with uh, the Neuro Node. So essentially what I can do after I know who goes first is I can redeploy three units, including putting them in strategic reserves for free, and that can exceed the normal limit. That is my Tyranid Vanguard Onslaught Force. We have already deployed for our mission today, and uh, we got the Ritual Minefields and Crucible of Battle for deployment. I'm taking this side of the table, and Matthew obviously can be on the other side of the table. And uh, for this one, we have uh, the Minefield Special Rule, so when Matthew advances six, he will uh, <laughs> take the Mortal Wound. My whole army is just advancing, <laughs> so you're going to see mortal wounds all over the place. And then we got the ritual, a very appropriate thing for chaos. You're going to start the game with less objectives than normal. We're going to have three off across the table here. And then we're going to do actions, I'll air quote that, because actions don't exist in 10th edition. Uh, well, they're and, not called actions, but they totally it's exist. It's an action. Yeah. <laughs> you do an action, uh, add more objectives to the table, only in no man's land. You take a unit that's going to do an action, um, place another objective, holy within, sorry, not holy within, exactly. exactly nine inches away from another objective. You'll see how that works with the game we play today. For deployment, I have uh, everything on the table doing ritual things, chaos things, with obliterators ready to come down and obliterate. They're in the ship as back reinforcements. And then we have neural lictors. Yeah, they're spooky. And the nice thing is, because of the one enhancement I took, I can just stick these out in the open, find out who goes first. If it's me, I'm going to try to get you to battle shock. And if it's you, the neural lictors disappear. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, well, I can just redeploy them. I don't have to put them into strategic reserves, but I could. So we'll just see where they go. Oh, I thought there might be more hiding back here. Okay. No, just a lictor. So I have two lictors in reserve and a unit of 20 hormigons. They're all in strategic reserves. Fair enough. Uh, do you want to go first? Um, 
I don't know. I gotta do all my scout moves first, and that'll give me a better idea. Can you scout before we roll Seagulls first? Can I scout? Yeah, I'm asking you to. I wanna win. Do you normally roll the Seagulls first before you scout? I do. I could've, yeah. been, I could've been cheating. I gotta double check. We got something very special for you all today. Four tiered battle reports. Matthew and I each made two and we are sharing them. In addition to this video, Matthew has uploaded one on miniwargaming.com and there are two more battle reports uploaded right now in the members only section of this YouTube channel. I played the Synaptic Nexus Detachment against Ben and Matthew played against George with the Crusher Stampede Detachment. You can watch four of the five new detachments right now, today, in their own battle report. Matthew and I also sat down together to review the new codex. We split that up into two videos. The first half is on miniwargaming.com and the second half is available right now on this channel. The links to all these two new videos can be found right now in the description of this one. Let's do this. Oh, uh -oh. is that a six? Well, I think I wanted to go first. Well, you don't have a choice, yeah. so you're going first. So, uh, yeah. so I'm gonna redeploy three units. Uh, it's only in my command phase that I force the battle shock test, so I don't know where to put him. I don't know where to put him. I want to. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. This guy for sure. I'm just gonna pop around here. I still want him to play the game. Oh, and always you can do your thing. As always, uh, these trues are ruin trees. Yeah, we you just, can't see through them. Just treat everything as ruins, right? And then these two don't want to die right away. I don't. But you know what? I could. You can't shoot them if they're more than twelve inches away. They got lone operatives. So, and then I have a strat to make that six inches instead. So he's gonna oh, go geez. there. Oh, um, jeez. Now they move nine. I can declare a charge. Can, can they advance and charge? Well, if I wasn't on your You know what? That's, that's fine. I've got three neuroelectors. You know what? I don't want to be there anyway. He's almost bait. Me you know, he's almost bait. So I'll say that out loud because then you can decide not to kill him and then I get to use him. So it's like win-win. The last neuroelector, <laughs> I'm going to hide him. And after that, Matthew did scout forward his gene stealers. They're coming for me. Eight inches forward as we go on to Chaos Space Marines turn one. First thing we're going to do is reaching to gain command points. We're going up to a one apiece. Uh, for other command phase things, the only thing I left for me to do is draw cards. My cards are bring it down, jeez, and investigate signals. Investigate signals, I gotta do action in corners of the table. Both my cultist units are prepared to do so. And then, uh, Matthew? Isn't there a rule that says if you cannot do the card that you redraw it? That was a house rule that we put into no, our No, I games. thought there's actually a rule now. I know it doesn't often come up, but I have no monsters or vehicles in my entire army, so you should throw that card out and draw a new one. That's not me trying to be nice. That's me thinking that that's actually a thing. Unless you can find a rule. I'm not taking your pity. <laughs> Bro, don't even worry about it. Yeah, um, I can't find proof of what I said, but you know, I wish it existed. It's good. My, my army uh, really, really uh, kind of um, works off of the profane zeal stratagem. And as far as I'm concerned, this is just another profane zeal when I discard the end of the turn. That's true. You just get another command point, yeah, right? Could so, be worse. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some movement and show you where I end up. So we're back to get Holy with the Nine in the corner. What's Got Holy with the Nine in the corner. What's over there? Yeah, it's like we, we hear, we hear uh, chittering. Chittering of Hormagons. We don't and, like that sound. And Lictors, who can come in turn one. Fast moves on the flank have spread forward. And then uh, we ran off the building, because we don't need to put guns on the building for the list of uh, swarming masses coming at us. And then everything else kind of walked on forward. Not, they advanced over as well, trying to get away from this side. We don't need to be here. <laughs> Uh, and Stay away they, from the bush, the, 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 the trees. Yeah, basically. everything sounds deadly, and I don't want to. I don't want them to fight anything. All right, so these guys here are doing an action. I'm gonna place this objective, but boom, so has to be exactly nine inches away and more than six inches away from any other objectives. And outside of my territory. And it has to be in no man's land. So you're looking at like right there. Is that good? You're happy with that? Oh wait, is that? That looks kind of close. That's not. That so quick. Uh, uh, dress from here. So it's actually have to this squad's gonna do it because it has to be within an inch. Yeah. So has to be within an inch of them, both outside of my territory, and these guys doing it would have put it right there. And that would have been like half of my territory. Well, we do got some shooting to do. I don't know if I here <laughs> I don't know if I just do an objective on the on the table for Matthew to come fight for. But he wants to come for, I mean anyway. I think we're by the end of this we're gonna have so many objectives that we're both gonna be maxing out the primary. Yeah. And it's gonna be about secondaries. <laughs> so oh. <Aww>. Uh. <laughs> Move on to shooting, we're going to the far side table. We're going to start off with my uh, warlord here, my general. With his bale flamer, he's going to try to roast uh, this lictor. So it's 12 inches? It is a 12 inch flamer. Okay, so I do have a stratagem that I could make it so you couldn't fire at him. But um, I'm trying to think if I want that somewhere else. So well, let me give, give me a second to think. Yeah, take your time. So you thought you saw him, but he disappears. I'm going to use Unseen Lurkers as a strat for the Vanguard Onslaught. 
that you can't shoot them if you're more than 12 inches away unless they have lone operative and that becomes six. Dang. So you're more than six inches away. So he literally just becomes a chameleon with the side and you're, for some reason you don't just fire your flamer into that anyway. <laughs> Fair. Well, we have nobody else in range so he's not yeah, going to shoot. Yeah, you can change targets, but in this case you don't have, to, um, you don't have range. It's a cost you only one command point? Yeah, my only command point. I roasted a command point. Yes, you did. Well, we do got one more unit that can fire. This Venom Crawler is going to fire at this Neural Lictor, trying to hide behind this broken down uh, shield generator. So four Binvol, stealth, stealth, and uh, what was the other one? Seven wounds. Seven wounds, four Binvol, yeah. He... I could get you, but I want you. So I'm going to spend one command point for profane zeal and reroll all hit into wound. What's your toughness? Five. I am going to do a dark pact and go for sustained hits. What does that do negatively? Sixes to hit will be two hits. No, no, negatively. What oh, okay. So after I finish my attacks, I do a leadership test. And if I pass, I uh, nothing happens. <laughs> I take D3 mortal wounds. Oh, okay. That's cool. So with two excruciator kittens hitting on fours because of the stealth. Uh, okay, we got a lot of hits, but we have profane zeal up. So we're going to reroll everything. That's a few more. And then we're going to throw two more dice in there for those sixes. For the sustained hits we got. We are wounding on threes. And ooh, we're ruling everything. It's four, eight, ten, eleven wounds They're at minus two damage one. damage piece? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Here were those fours. Yeah, no, he's dead. We got him. Easy. Which means this guy has killed the units. All his weapons get plus one attack. End of my turn, I'm going to score investigate signals for these two corners of these cultists doing... Uh, <laughs> The Chaos of God's work. And then we're going to just start bringing it down for one whole command point, going back up to one. And now that you guys all saw a Chaos turn, uh, we'll give you what you're here for, and let's see what Tyrannus do on yeah, the first turn. on the Vanguard turn. A match turn, we're each going to get a command point. And then he drew, uh, Matthew chose which two cards would most, um, most uh, <laughs> fit the theme of his army, that and just died. chose. Yeah, right. Assassinate makes sense. First turn engage in all fronts is not very good. That's fair. He drills uh, randomly. Yeah, so assassinate killing characters. If I just kill one or more characters, I get five victory points. And if I get into more table quarters. So basically. you're going to give... Uh, you're, ooh, ooh. But I had to be away from the... the I think you're already there. I'm going to be there. Because these guys can just pop forward. And he might already have it. Because you have to be three inches away from the line. So Careful you have, of that overwatch. Of the flamer? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. With nothing else to do in the command phase for uh, Gribblies, they're going to start moving. Now, uh, before I turn the camera off, Matthew, is there any weird things about movement that... Uh... Well, every six I roll is going to be a mortal wound. So Fair. I'm assuming that when you come back, you're going to see a couple things wounded. But nothing from your Tyrannic book that's going to apply during this movement phase? So I'm going to show before and after? Um, no. All right. Well, here's what They have started. fly. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... I, you know what? This is my channel. He you gives them wings. You do not get a fly. <laughs> he, they, he gives them wings. <laughs> Are you going to abandon that backfield objective? Oh, uh, wait, there's enough over here. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make a million of them. All right, we have to stop. The first thing Matthew did is he walked up. Did you run? I advanced. One. Advanced one inch. Yeah. Uh, I said nothing, and then he went to go activate this guy, and he's my target. Uh, I'm going to overwatch him before he moves with this guy's flamer. D6 so, plus three shots? It's going to be seven. I have seven I, I could, I, No, I couldn't spend the stratagem here because it's not your yeah, shot exactly, phase. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Three's the wound. Ooh. There we go. That's six wounds. Ooh. Urbanvold. I just gotta do average. Well, oh, I think I think I, I'm good. I'm good. We're down to one die. Yeah, I'm good. I should. I think I have seven wounds. Well, oh, I, I definitely have more than four. You're I definitely fine. have more than four. Yeah, we no, you only have six wounds. wounds. <laughs> you almost died he's there. Down to two wounds. All right, I, and then I already board. rolled an advance of one, so he's just gonna pop up right here. I didn't turn the camera on because I got annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew is just a bunch of advancing, and you can advance in charge. Roll the six, take a yeah, mortal wound. I'm taking a mortal wound on my jeans. <laughs> Roll the six, took a mortal wound. Roll the six, took a mortal wound. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> now, the mortal wound thing is remind you is from the scenario we have minefields. Six inch advance is a mortal wound. But they all advance in charge, and uh, uh, they're still they're still moving. They're still moving. The Ripper Swarm is sniffing for stuff right here. Yep. So at the end of the turn, I'm going to be placing an objective right there. Is that outside your territory? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Just, just barely. Like this, the territory good, goes good, like that. Just barely is good enough. Yeah, it, he all... did it. He turned the camera off. He did it again. <laughs> I'm getting hurt here, man. And they're, they're, their fourteen is not going to hurt anything yet. They're not getting anywhere yet. True, but I mean, I'll trade a mortal wound to get up the field. Fourteen. Dang. Yeah, they're just going to zip right up here. You got your deep strikers coming in, so you know you could go back there if you. They're like. going to have to carry me. <laughs> 
because everything. And then these warriors advanced up as well, but camping the backfield objective a little bit. And they flew up there because uh, they they can fly. I said uh, we're not going to allow that. They got no mighty report, leap. They have mighty Matthew leap. They're leaping. I'm talking right now, but leap. he's not listening to a word I'm saying. Leap. So he just goes up there. So leap. that's that's how we're going to play it. And now we're going to shoot. Now we're going to shoot. No, we're not. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't have a single gun. Not a single gun. Oh, Matthew is able to bring on his lictors from reinforcements right now with stratagems that are available to his vanguard detachment. I could spend a command point to count the battle round as one shorter and bring two units that have vanguard. The Hormigants don't have vanguard, though. I would, I would want to do them. It could also be one Tyranid unit or Tyranid infantry unit, so I could do the Hormigants. But... Uh, I want to save that command point for something else. Fair. All right, I, mean, so probably, I have so few command points. I love it. I like it. I, like I love it. it. Yeah, I, do. Same. I do. Beginning of the fight phase, the Gene Stealers and the Brood Lord popping out of nowhere yeah. spooks these guys. Uh -huh. They have to take a battle shock test. I'm spending a command point on a stratagem for Vanguard. It forces, I choose one of my guys, I choose one of yours. They don't have to even see them or be close to them. Forces a battle shock test, and I get plus one to hit them. If you <sighs> fail this battle shock test, which is at minus one because the Death Leaper is nearby, then I also get plus one to wound. And they'll be battle shocked, which means no stratagems. So seven plus, I'm assuming, from yeah. six. Yeah. Fail it, Steve. Did you fail? You fail it. Oh! By one. Yes. I have an icon. It might allow me to reroll this. No, it doesn't work here. The icon allows me to reroll just for the dark pack ability only. Well, okay, so. So that's called surprise assault, literally. You be plus one to hit and wound them. The plus one to hit won't matter because I'm already hitting on twos well, with the gene stealers. No, no, he makes them minus one to hit. Is he actually? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that matters. So they go back to twos, and they'll be re-rolling ones to hit and ones to wound because you're near an objective. It's mine. <sighs> That's assuming I make this charge because I have no command points now. It's Watch. like a three-inch charge. I know, but I can fail it. <laughs> so let's start with the Neurolictor and get him out of the way. Say four. I only rolled a four. He's coming this way, and he's going to obviously have to go into base contact. And you can't overwatch or anything. Nope. I've already done it for the, free, the turn. Uh, the Death Leaper is going to go next because I really want him in there. And he rolls a healthy nine. I wish he could leap over you and just... The Death Leaper is not much of a leaper. No, no, he doesn't have any leaping rules, which is weird. And now this is the double one, which I cannot re-roll from the Gene Stealers. No, six inches working. Dang it. So these ones have to go in, and then we can start to spread around. Well, oh, we have a leg. One oh, straggler, no. One straggler. He's the same color as the terrain, so yeah. I lose him. <laughs> Blends in nice. So we're not going to charge this Neuro Lictor. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll just declare them as a charge Yeah, no, target. no downside. And six inches is definitely not getting me in. Because you are, it's a, it's a, almost an 8-inch charge, but it's definitely a 7-inch charge. Didn't want to go fight the uh, Venom Throat yet? No, no. Okay, so then we'll just, I'll roll that. Uh, no, there's not much point, because there's no, no, because then he could, like, wrap around and get out of the way of the Gene Stealers. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, he can go all the way over here if he likes. So, he'll come popping around here. He has Fair. to still touch base to base, because he could. And then the Gene Stealers will hopefully not fail this charge. No, they definitely did not fail it, but they don't get in base contact. That was actually what they needed. They needed a 5-inch charge. But that's good enough. So the, I'm going to start with the Death Leaper. Oh, my whole, everything has fights first, obviously, because they charged. Um, so And the Death Leaper has fights first, so he's really going to fight first. And he's got precision on his attacks. We're going to try to take out your character. Now, your character hands out minus one for the unit, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm hitting on threes instead of twos. Death Leaper trying to go for assassination no, nothing, right away. Nothing special here except that they're precision. <laughs> well, no, that's a cock day. No, 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 no. no, no that's it's better. I got it. <laughs> I'll make those calls, Matthew. Well, that I, I'm normally very liberal with not being a cocked eye, if you can tell what it is, but not. that one was almost 45 I don't think I've played to my guess on this channel. Shrink seven, so threes to wound. Still, oh, golly. That's cocked. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> so minus two, two. <sighs> burr, burr, burr. Five up. He did. Oh, he's super dead. Well, and they were all five up, right? So you could, you could roll them. Oh yeah, yeah. They're all. It's all gonna be five. So up. How many wounds does he have? Oh, four. So the so first, the first two, two kill, him, kill him, and then three more die after that. <laughs> <laughs> Definition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the neuro lick there left. I don't think I need to do him. So, do you still have minus one now that your character's dead? Now we've moved on to the next guy. Oh, that's a good question. I yeah, this is a whole separate unit. So yeah, you're yeah. Good. So yeah, we're starting a new fight. So he's in on twos, and then these are strength six, so they're threes to wound. So two wounds, and they're minus two as well, but only one damage. You gave up a damage in order to do all we're this good. spooky I think stuff. One wound. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't know if you have to worry about that because these guys are about to attack with devastating wounds and plus one to hit and wound, which the plus one to hit doesn't matter anymore. <sighs> And uh, we're just going to come in like that, okay. get those two fighting. The Brood Lord will also be able to fight because he's going to go, hello, let me in. And 
looks like we're going to get well, I mean, this five guy, Gene Steelers and the Broodlord attacking. It was freshly painted, so it makes sense. It makes sense that he dies, right? I think he's going to start off with the Gene Steelers first. Only five of them are in the combat, so 20 attacks. So 20 attacks. Before we continue on. I got a command point because I killed a character with the Death Leaper. All the Lictors, Neuro Lictors, Lictors, Death Leaper have that rule. I'll get a command point when you kill a character. So, yay. They, oh, yeah, he's like, blah, blah, blah. Right now he's just challenging on your brain. Okay, 20 attacks on the Gene Steelers. These are hitting on twos, re-rolling ones, because that's, there's built-in re-roll ones. I don't know why. So they all hit except for one. They all hit. And then their strength, four. So just four. But they also, they're plus one to wound, so they're threes to wound. And because we're on an objective, they're re-roll ones to wound. Um, but sixes are devastating because the Broodlord gives them devastating. Threes to wound. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, no ones to re -roll. <laughs> Is it devastating in addition? No. No, 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 of course not. It's just devastating. They just have the word. Oh, sorry, my mortal, sorry, mortal, yeah, just devastating, not mortal. So animation. eight mortal wounds and okay. then nine saves at minus two. Nine? Five up saves. The whole squad's dead. Yeah, they're, they're toast. Guess what? We're not going to see your Broodlord in action. Oh. And then obviously choosing not to consolidate. Not nah, the... you, you can just shoot at me. No, no I'm just going to stand there and spook. Because he's going to choose a unit and make them all spooky at minus one. And maybe I'll throw a shout on the warp. And yeah, just, you're just definitely see if I can... a Okay, let's see what happens over here, though. All right, who's going first? Um, do the Gene Stealers. They don't have Devastating. They, they're only going to be rerolling ones to hit. That's their only shtick right now. Yeah, so we're not probably going to do much damage here. We're hitting on twos, rerolling ones. So we should pretty much get most of our hits. Except for one. Devastating, unfortunately. That would actually make these okay. And they're not re-rolling anything because you're not in range of an objective. So we go, oh, okay. oh geez. Six wounds, minus two, one damage. Those are four up, and you still chip through three damage. Not okay. bad. All right. With a seven. Down to seven. Before we finish footing, there's one quick correction, nothing that mattered. Uh, when Matthew did his bow shock thing with the Gene Steelers, he would have to do it after the charges. Yeah, when I was in there, because it says I pick a unit that has not been selected to fight. And I'm assuming that I that like that doesn't count, because they can't be selected to fight. Yeah, I would assume a thing. Yeah. You can do it in the shooting phase too, for a unit that has not been selected to shoot. I know there are gonna be many people who are gonna read that and think that they can't fight. Because uh, a lot of people read the grenade stratagem, assuming they can't shoot. Oh, no. I, I know, because yeah. you do it before they fight. What it means is you can't have a unit fight, decide you need the help for the next unit, and have that unit do it, whatever. But it's not going to matter. Yeah, exactly. Uh, otherwise, uh, sure the game's still good, and then we're going to go ahead and fight with this lictor. So I could kill him. Not likely, though. Two's to hit. Definitely not likely, now that I failed one of those. Five's to wound. I need to really spike that. I got three <sighs> of them. That can't kill you. That can't kill you. Minus two, two. Uh, one so goes only one goes through, so you're down to five wounds. That's something. That's something. I'll take it. All right, Boom. all of my guys have fought. I only have one thing in combat. It's him. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the Impaler Chain Glaive into them and the Technovirus Injector as well. And over here, the Bladed Limbs. So we'll start with the Bladed Limbs. No, hold on. I'm going to spend my last command point to throw them into reserve because I have that. It's called... Wait, I want to swing at you first. No, nope, it's called Invisible Hunter. In what? your opponent's fight phase at any point. It's actually end of your opponent's Wait, fight phase. Wait, hold on, this is your fight phase. Doesn't matter, I can't do it. It's end of your opponent, end of your opponent's fight Okay, good, okay, good, <laughs> good. Okay, we're gonna go with the four attacks hitting him on threes. Wait, is he minus to hit? Uh, he's stealth, only in, it's only ranged. A uh, threes to wound, minus two, two. Doesn't matter, he's got a four pinball. Yep. So I gotta make all four of these or he's dead. Oh. Ooh, you want to CP it? No, because I want to show off the cool strats. Frick. <laughs> He's dead. I'm, I'm holding to my morals. You can say the other word. No. Rub out oh, you're on your channel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, chiller, uh, Impaler Chain Glaive. Hitting on twos. Uh-huh. Well, they're going to survive. You're talking four, right? Uh, yeah. Three's the wound. Uh, minus one. Uh, five up in well. How much damage? Two damage. Okay, that kills one. And then we have one Technovirus Injector. It hit. Uh, it's strength three, so it does not wound. Oh, golly. Do you want to do it? No, I, I, it's at the end of your the, fight phase. At the end of your fight, oh, phase, fight phase, and I have to be more than three inches away from you. Oh, so all for many reasons. I just, I just <laughs> totally was BSing my way through. I was, I was pulling a Steve. Oh. Seems <laughs> <laughs> so think people aren't accustomed to you lying. So I believed you. Nobody right. believes me. <laughs> right. Uh, that's it. Is that all you can do? 
What do you mean it's all you I can do? You killed legionnaires and half a lord? I, and I get both my secondaries, unlike you. That's pretty can't, good. Can't achieve them. Because I think we've, I think we've uh, established that it's secondaries that are going to win this one. <sighs> Although I am going to get a lot of uh, victory points. So engage in all fronts. I'm definitely in one, two, three with him. Um, or the Neurolictor. Now he, and them. Yeah, yeah. so I'm good. Yeah. You get so the maximum I get the that. maximum, which is five. Um, and then I'll get five for this. That's ten victory points for me. Let's go on to turn two for the Chaos Reckoning. I think Matthew stacked my deck. <laughs> I, did, I did shuffle it. Behind you should have cut it after shuffled it. <laughs> Behind enemy lines and captured enemy outpost. Well, you can always spend a uh, point I can, to re redraw one. I could do it. I could do it. You, have, you do have Deep Strike. I do have Deep Strike. So that's, a, that's an easy But I need, I need to support over here or they're going to run through the rest of my lines. So I can go back there and score. And scoring's going to be important. Or I can, like... Push it just off my lines. Is it just one unit of obliterators? I've got two. Oh, you can do one in each. So I have no battle shock I have to do. So that's it. Uh, I'm about I, to score, except... I'm going to... Well, where are you going to score? Just the one in the back, right? Yep. Who can control that one? Do you uh, have these, both these, these units? units? yeah. Okay. So I have the ability... I, I won't be able to do both of those. Cause this you can shot on the warp. I can shot on the warp, yes. But, um, so he's too far away. Essentially, the Neurolictors in my enemy's command phase, they can choose a unit and force a battle shock within 12 inches. And then on top of that, they have a six, or they have an aura. It's either six or 12, I can't remember. I'll double check it. That if you're battle shocked, you're minus one to hit. And I'm plus one to wound you. Ooh. So that'll mean my next turn, they're just toast. So I think for him, we're going to pop it on the guys. Oh, the no back. mistake you made in your list. What? You should have brought a Neuro Tyrant. It's not Vanguard. He's not Vanguard. The but funny you can thing is, bring one, right? Yeah, I, could, I can just replace five Gene Stealers with a Neuro Tyrant. But that only that minus one only matters for the Shadow and the Warp. I know, but I mean... I know. It's a, ah, it's a, ah, it's, he's not let's, Vanguard, let's Steve. See, let's see if he's <laughs> not Vanguard. Let's see if I can uh, fill The Rippers spider. aren't really either, but the, I, I, I had 15 points left over. So oh, I, you broke your own rule. I did, but just with Rippers, so who cares? <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, yes. Matthew I, did say he was putting an objective down. He's doing an action with his Ripper Swarm. Yeah, yeah. So there should be another... One right here. Okay, anyways, so um, this Neurolictor is going to choose. I feel like they're the better option to. No, 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 of course not, because these guys are at minus one. But I don't care. But you have to get them both. You have to shut on the warp, right? Yeah, you know what? Okay, so. Hold on, hold on. What's the order you do this in? Because you, you have to get them both, right? So you force shot on the warp first, see which one fails, and then the other one does it. That's true. That is the order. Double check your order to make sure you can do it like that. Can you do Shadow of the Warp it's first? Just, it's it? just in your command phase. All right. So Shadow so of the Warp Shadow, first. And either command phase. It doesn't say when. So Shadow, Shadow of the Warp. Warp. So six plus for them. They passed. So seven plus for them because of Death Leaper. They fail. Okay. Okay. And then we'll do them. Same thing. Seven plus. They <sighs> fail. Uh, hold on. This is rough. I really, 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 really want to dark no, pack failed. them. They failed. They failed. Right. Oh, no, actually, no, your first one passed. Sorry. It was them. You're right. <laughs> I'm and upset then, about that, guys. He's at normal. So six plus for him. He fails. Oh! And the one way over here, normal six My plus. Warlord. He's fine because I don't have a Neuro Tyrant. Cultist and then your the cultist, what are they? Fail. Oh, doesn't matter. Other cultists by you? They fail. definitely fail. This, this Neuro Lictor doesn't have anybody to choose. Oh because, no. Yeah, because he's like 13 inches away. So yeah, I will have the Neuro Lictor choose them. They have to make another Battle Shock test. Which Seven. they pass. Okay. Because it's six plus. So I am going to score five points. Yeah, you are going to get that objective because you do have them on that. I think this. That's a big deal. It's so detrimental to me. Yeah, because you're gonna have to work, just rely on your dice rather than any tricks, right? I hate, I hate relying on my dice. I get it. I get it. That's a little bit. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> uh, so these guys walked over this way, trying to like stem the tide of those five coming in. Just the five are scary. They walked over, and they advanced, and they advanced to block better. We're staying put, and everything else is gonna stay put because Matthew has a strategy. I'm going you explain it. Uh, it's two command points, so it, but it's really good. It's called hypersensory cilia. Essentially, I can redeploy if you finish a fallback, normal move, or advance within nine inches of uh, um, either one Tyranid unit or two Vanguard infantry units. Vanguard, sorry, Vanguard invader units or one Tyranid infantry unit. So basically, if you moved here, these could redeploy. Yeah. I don't think I have a reason to right now. Except maybe like the Death Leaper to get like more than. So there was a little mini game happening off camera, but Matthew quickly realized to wait, but then I decided not to move anything. So yeah, one like thing the, the only thing I could think of to move would be like the Death Leaper to hop back here, so he's out of twelve inches, so you can't shoot him. But I've got two command points, so I can make it so you can't shoot him anyways. So we're oh. good. <laughs> we're good. 
<laughs> and the obliterators pop back here, ready to blow out this side of the table completely and then run on forward and take control of this whole backfield. For I have a uh, capture enemy outpost and I have uh, behind enemy lines. That's right. Let's shoot. Uh, we'll start off with these uh, guys here. They are going to shoot at, uh, oh, actually, nobody. Nobody. Oh. Try to so I was well, I was gonna try to grenade down the elector uh, here. Or, sorry, the uh, death leaper here. Uh, they're battle shocked. <laughs> they're battle shocked, and they don't got grenades. So happy, uh, days. happy days. Yeah, I'm upset use, right now. Use better strategies than that. So. I'm gonna go over to this other stop table. Using, stop relying on grenades. I'm just gonna roast them. Yeah, you I can feel do better. Uh, seven times. Threes to wound. Threes to wound. Ah! ah! <laughs> Six times. Show me your involved. Five up. Oh, hey, hey what lucky. survives? <laughs> you are the lucky winner today. Well, uh, we're going to fire a single pistol. You're minus one to hit. <laughs> All right. Because you're battle shocked and you're within 12 inches of the neural lictor. <laughs> anyway. Who are you shooting at? Uh, the guys who have one wound, the gene stealers. Okay, yeah. It wounds. And then no AP? No AP. So five up either way. I don't have. Oh, I should have a dark pack. Oh, wait. I always count as being in cover, and it should have been minus one to hit. I did. I rolled oh, six. Minus two to hit, sorry. Because <laughs> they have stealth. I rolled a six. But it's fine. You killed them. Got him. You got him. Which means now this guy can go. He's going to fire two excruciator cannons. Oh, they'd be minus two to hit. <laughs> well, we're going to do a dark oh, you pack. You only ever have minus one, right? I know, I know. We're going to do a dark pack for sustained hits. And I would love to use profane zeal here, but I guess we'll save it for somebody else. Um, Is that a strategy? Yeah, if you're all hitting a wound. You can't do that. Exactly. Battle. I'll just do my uh, leadership test now so I don't forget it. Uh, we take D3 wounds when I'm done shooting. I'm going to take two. So two extrusionator cannons going into Gene Stiller's hitting on fours. Yeah, minus yeah, it's minus two to hit, but only ever minus one. Uh, we're gonna leave these two threes in there because it's two sixes. Extra hits for sixes, and then a threes to wound. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh, wait a second here. Um, I have to check one thing. I forgot we rolled ones. They had one one there, and it missed anyway. All right, we have uh, seven wounds. But because I'm always in cover because of my upgrade. Ish, two Ooh, damage. Ish. Piece. So five, five more die, yeah. Well, I'm gonna take. Well, let's go on and do my last cannons. I'm gonna target the uh, Death Leaper. No, you're not. Okay. I'm gonna spend a command point, and he's going to now only be targetable within six inches. Okay. And I can choose somebody else. Yep. We're gonna go after this guy. Yeah, take him out. We'll start off the last cannons. Oh, no, we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, Dark Pack for sustained hits. It's, it's minus one. Uh, so we're gonna be hitting on fours. And we got four hits. Look at that. Because of the six. Yeah. And twos. Actually, we got what strength are they? Nine. He's toughness five. All right, we got uh, So two of them. Two of them. Four up in Vaughn. Wait a second. You thinking of a reroll? No, I need my CP. Yeah, don't reroll, man. <laughs> my would... favorite mission rule is the one that makes rerolls two command points. I know. Because then, you, have, just then play you have to worry about making bad decisions. I, I, hate, I hate the command reroll. <laughs> or when you make a bad decision, it's even worse. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if it makes it better. I just don't like, because we have so few Oh, it's points. one thing I would have removed two editions ago. Yeah, yeah. Just like, no, let, let's play with the fun stratagems. So you should fill at least one of these. Why? Like, D6 damage? D6 plus one. Okay, so four up in bones. So I did fail one of them. And you're seven damage, right? Seven wounds? I have six left. Oh. You have so, uh, four. Uh, wait, you have two left. Three left. Three left. That's math. A dark pack. Uh, do you make me minus one? I do, but only within six inches of the Death Leaper. Okay, good. So we're past that. Let me, let me double check this. I think it's good. Okay, so we're going to go on to this squad of Marines. They're going to, oh, sorry, Legionnaires. They're going to dump into them as well. Uh, we're going to go for lethal hits. So because, because I really want this guy dead and I'm, I'm, I got overkill in this corner, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, this is not a good option, but I'll do it anyway. They will profane zeal for one command point. So they're going to all the hit into wound. You can't. They're battle shocked. Wait, they're battle shocked. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. This is what you did to me. Yeah, keep your command points. Uh, I guess I'll do even more overkill over there. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Four bolt guns on fours. Huh? Uh, are we rolling ones? But lethal, so one of them auto wound. Two of them auto wound. Uh, wounding on fives, I'm assuming, or is it sixes? What's your toughness? Fives. Right. Just toughness five. I have two wounds on you. Four up in bones. He's All fine. good. And then the auto cannon. Uh, oh, real ones. Hmm. Hey, we got a hit. Strength nine, so threes. I don't know where that die went. It went in the ruins. It's a two. All right, you're fine. All right, let me test for my dark pack. The 
pass because I'm not. Oh, you're not within six. Okay, gotcha. You're good. Oh, you're all scary. Yeah. Oh, yes. We, we, I think we said it off camera. I was going to rapid ingress. So lictors have a special rule that says once per battle round, um, a model with this ability can do rapid ingress for zero command points. Rapid ingress is at the end of your opponent's movement phase. You come in from reserve. So it still counts as turn two, so I can't come in your side. My side is this side of the table. No, I know, but it's... You can't be my territory? Or my... Near... Oh, you're fine. No, you're no, fine. It's, you're just, fine your it's yeah. just your deployment zone, yeah. So the question is, where do I want him to come? I think we're going to go for a, a second chance of taking out your flamer, although I have to worry about your overwatch, right? Well, the thing... Yeah. The thing is, if, if you walk him on in your turn, and I'm free, I can overwatch you right then. Right. Otherwise, you can just do your nine-inch charge. I, you are going to be free. There's no way... That... I'm going to be free. I could, go, I could go for a 9-inch charge. I'm saying you can put him here without... Or I could pop him, like, here instead and help with the backfield. Yeah, you know what? He's going to come over here. We're going to try to reinforce the back now that I see you there. You can't shoot at him because he's more than 12 inches away. Um, and I said be more than 9 inches. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to reinforce the back line. Yeah, that wouldn't have changed anything because that would happen after I dropped down my... Yeah, you drop them down. He shows up. boogity boo. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to start with these two obliterators. Well... Finish off my obliterators, but start with these of the two units of obliterators, and we're gonna go dump into the Tyranid Warriors over here. We are gonna do a Dark Pact. What's your toughness? Five? Yes. We're gonna do a Dark Pact for sustained hits, and uh, we are gonna use one command point for a Profane Zeal. We are gonna do a Ruinous Salvos as well. Uh, it's a blast weapon, so D6 shots apiece, but there's uh, more than five malls in there, so it'll be D6 plus one attack each. Real good. I'll take it. Perfectly average seven, so nine attacks. Threes to hit. Uh, we're going to re-roll. And then we have three sixes in there. And threes to wound. Re-rolling everything because of profane zeal. Right. Ten, eleven wounds. AP two for two. So I'll have a six up, save an eight, five up for I mean, guys. You have some cover. cover. Yeah, I know, but I want to... I know. I want to kill that guy. So we'll start with him. Okay. So six up saves two damage, you said? Yes, sir. So two at a time, because they have, oh, three, three, wounds, three wounds each. Yeah. yeah, so six up. So he's dead. That makes your charge harder. Let's do that guy. Uh, he's still on the objective, though. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, we're leaving that objective. I don't care. I've got... I've You've got, got enough. I've got You've got enough. Oh, no, I don't have that middle one, so I'll only get 10 points instead of 15. Hey, man, I'm not done charging you. That's true. That's true. i got to get off of it. So next guy... Good, good. We're going to soak up some of that. So he dies. And then we'll start putting our guys in cover. So we'll start with the guy that leapt up there because it kind of ticked off Steve. So we got five up saves on him. No! Oh, <laughs> he landed on a grenade. <laughs> oh, I broke my ankle, he says. Yeah. That's the cover and you if get. I kill him, then we're out of co coherency. So we actually have to start at this guy now and keep working our way back. So, yeah, here we are. So six up. Uh, he's dead. Oh, and that guy survives with one wound. I thought you're, I'm not They're up. I would love to shoot at him, he but can't. I can't. You can't see him. He's more uh, than twelve inches away. I was gonna go. I, I was gonna go after those gene stealers. I, I generally thought I'd do better than that. Should I just dump into them again? Well, it's only they're three wounds, so your two damage is yeah. not optimal, it's true, right? Yeah, I'll dump into them again. Same thing. Ruin Finish this level. Yeah. Finish them off. Oh, you no, I won't. No, I won't. Uh, let me do one attack each. This is black. These are D6 attacks. Oh, you decide after. You oh, do. I forgot they're they're um leadership. They're leadership. They're good. Uh, they're good. Uh, they're going to do uh, sustain as well. We always do dark packs. We'll so, never remember them. So two Hitting on threes from their attacks. Rerolling ones. Hey, we got three hits. <laughs> oh, you somehow managed to do it. <laughs> threes to wound. Oh, we had two wounds. So you reroll that, don't you? No, no, no. That was them because they spent a command point for ah, uh, profane. So two zeal. of them? Two of them at minus two. So I got to start with him. Six up. He's dead. And then a five up on the next guy. He takes two wounds. He's down to one. It's charging time. So the plan is to have these two units charge them, but then I realize the Death Leaper is going to muck me up. So they're going to go ahead and they were going to block, but now they're going to charge the Death Leaper just to not get her. How many command points you got? Only one. All right, never mind. We're good. They're going to charge <laughs> I'm first. Like, you keep talking yourself out of it. <laughs> they're going to charge first. Oh, they're in. Oh, these two units, obviously. And he'll charge in into the uh, Genie Stealers. Yeah. Seven. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Send him in for me. Like I would like to use Tank Shock. Oh, wait. Shout and the Warp got me. That's right. Well, uh, I think you fight first. Yeah. So anybody with fights first, and that's, my, and that's your turn, so it'll be the Neurolictor. Yeah. 
Who's the end target? Well, he has to go after them. I guess so. I can get. Well, I guess he's in engagement range, but. Whatever. I can't be engaged rage with him because I didn't declare him as a target. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's so true. So that's just them. So uh, I get plus one to hit and wound them because they're battle shocked and near the Neurolictor. So two's to hit already. Oh, golly. Love it. But Love I, it. I only missed once. So strength six. So I'm assuming. Come to six of my possessed. So then three's to wound because I get plus one to wound. So four wounds at minus two, one damage. Uh, minus two, oh, you say? No, Ooh. this is precision. This is on your character. Oh, jeez, no. But there are only four of them. How many wounds does he have? Four. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, he's five up saves, right? He he's makes fine. two invulnerables and then six of feel no pain. All right, takes one wound. He's, a, he's fine. Woo -hoo. All right, so now we're going to fight with them. They are going to go ahead and, uh, yeah, they're going to go ahead and swing everything into, hmm. Hmm. How many wounds? Is he unwounded? He's got three, eh? He's got three left. Four, anybody hear four up invul. Four up invul. Most likely you're chewing through almost everything here. <laughs> I would be, I would feel very confident if I could do Dark Pact. You can't. Stop with your Shadow and the Warp thing. Everybody says it never does anything. <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do <laughs> is we're gonna put everything into uh, the Genius Dealers. That's, 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 we're just doing that. We're hitting on threes. You're minus one to hit. We're hitting on fours. Oh, that's a big difference. There's a lot of threes in here. Yeah, Neuro Lictor's making you minus one because you are battle shot. We're gonna reroll these ones. We're undivided. Anything with the sixes? Uh, yep, those are going to be one more hit each. Ah! One more then. Threes to wound. Oh, oh okay. come on, dude. Um, okay. Are so, they multiple damage? Uh, yeah, but more important. Well, these are going to be mortal wounds. These are going to kill your character. So you're going to do these first. So we have eight. Eight at minus one. And they're two damage. Two damage apiece. Okay, so actually, I got to double check if the Broodlord has a better invuln. Probably. Yeah, so you're killing everything. Because I don't have anything, uh, unless I make a bunch. So eight, you said? Eight saves, yeah. So here's four at a time, because that's how many gene stealers I have. So two gene stealers alive, one gene stealer alive, zero gene stealers alive, and the Breed Lord dies from the mortal wounds. Yeah. So, ow! Well, yeah. there goes my punchy unit. Normally it survives better, but mortal wounds will tear right through them. Then the Venom Crawler will go, oh, he didn't, oh, I can. I can go ahead and fight him. Yeah, you can. That's the, that's the rule now. Yeah, I have to go this way. Yeah, you have to go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and fight him. Uh, we're hitting, I might just want to hit. Uh, because you're battle shocked, yes. Fours. Oh, we're gonna do dark pact. What's your toughness? Uh, six? Five? Five. Uh, if your toughness five, we're, we're gonna do sustained. Uh, we reroll ones. And then we have one more attack for the six. Before I go any farther, I forgot to do my dark pact a leadership test for them. Uh, They're minus one. Because of him, but we're good. You're good. All right, so now we're going to wound you on threes. Jeez. Jeez, come on, dude. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta fight me, my army, and my dice. How many? Uh, Six saves, two damage apiece. Two damage? So I gotta make most of these four ups. Yeah, no, he's dead. Well, you cleared the middle. Nom nom. And then this little guy. Well, the Gene Stealer gets to hit him first. That's what I mean. That's the little guy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two's to hit rerolling. Because they just reroll one sure. for whatever reason. Strength and four, sixes to wound. Nothing special about him. Yeah, no. you're fine. Okay. Chill, yeah, there you no, go. Just, uh, you, uh, you got him. Oh, let me do a dark pact. Why would you do a dark pact? I would, I would do it every time. For one gene sealer? Uh, yeah, take I'm, I'm, an mortal I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, well, now you're below half strength. Dark pact. Here, oh, D3 mortal wounds. Now he's below half strength. Yeah, this is what you do. This is, this is how you play chaos. It wouldn't have mattered because he'll force a battle shock test on him anyways. I care not. This is, I, if I don't do more wounds myself than my opponent, then, you know, actually, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, that's the turn. Good. That's the turn, right? You got behind enemy lines, but not capture enemy I'm going to hang on to it, because I'm going to get that. Well, we'll see. All right, Matt, gonna it's uh, gonna get one you. and a half battle round. I know you have some reinforcements. How are you feeling? Uh, well, you're definitely in the lead. I'm not done yet, um, because I have some fun, punchy stuff to still do. I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to... I still have one objective, so I'll get five victory points. Wait, give me a battle shock. Oh, the Ripper's got it. No, he has no, Ripper's zero. zero. It, it's a battle shock. I'm just saying I'll get it, because they do 3d6 battle shock, because they're synapse. That's true. And it's a seven plus. Triple so. ones, bro. All right, here, I'll just do it right now, even though it's not the time to do it yet. See, You're we're good. fine. You're good. <laughs> uh, uh, and that's, that's the only one I have to do. Nobody else is below half strength, because you just murdered them. We're getting command points. So we both get a command point, and I draw my cards. Well, I drew good cards. <laughs> extend battle lines, which I can get, and area denial, which I can also get. So extend battle lines, I think I have to have my own, right? Yes. So I'll have to go back and grab that one. Sure. And, um, and then area, area denial, so I have to get to the middle, which sure. is also the extend battle lines. You're going to get the points. Yeah, and then I think I'll have to seed, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll keep having this Ripper Swarm move around and seed more objectives. Um, and, sure. And that'll be my way to kind of score in the back lines. But 
Uh, at the end of this turn, before you do anything, we already know you're going to be up because we have the same primary. Yes. And you have far more secondary than me. Yes. For now. So, but we're only in battle round two. For now. <laughs> so, but we got reinforcements coming. They got more. They pushed this way. I thought about overwatching. Ultimately, decided not to. When he came around, I decided I will. If I get lucky and I get him, then that's, uh, a, that's a big hit. And so that, that, that'll cripple Matthew and probably secure my victory. So they're going to overwatch. And they're going to do a dark pact and do sustained hits. They're going for their big gun, the four damage gun. So it's going to be D3 shots a piece. Oh, that's Five good. shots. I didn't bring enough dice. Six is to hit. You get the reroll? I have one more die. I have uh, six hits on you. Yeah. <laughs> Two's to wound. Uh, okay. We have four wounds. Okay. Go into your invul and four damage a piece. Yeah. So I got to make three out of four of these. So dice say <laughs> no. Do I CP uh, it? <laughs> I got two command points. Don't make me CP. <laughs> this is a crucial one. I, I think you have to. No, I don't have to. You don't have to? No. Because I don't want to. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. You're dead. He's dead. <sighs> do I take mortal wounds? I do not. Then kidding on movement. Rippers are going to come this way and they're, they're sniffing out another objective over here. He walked around the objective as you should. Yes. One gene stealer is called a gene stealer. Squad advanced this way. The other advanced this way. Rolled another six to take another mortal wound. And lost one of the guys as a result. <laughs> and then uh, we have some uh, lictors to show up. A one lictor and 20 hormigons. Oh, the 20 hormigons. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. So it's, it's battle round two. I could spend a command point and let them show up as if it was battle round three. Is basically show up on even on your end, but I don't see any value. In Cultists aren't here. a big deal right now. Yeah, they, they, they did their thing, and now they're not really going to be able to do anything else. Right. So, and showing up right here wouldn't matter because I could have just killed them with gene stealers. Well, you can like, engage them and then tie them up because don't they have like a six inch, pro, uh, sorry, six inch pile in something? No, like that? no, they don't have that anymore. They don't have that anymore. No, they just, they just advance and charge, nice and simple. But you know what? I think that strategy was just in the Gribbly one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, the Gribbly detachment. Matthew yeah. Speak, Steve. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> the endless. It's the unending swarm? swarm. Unending swarm. Unending swarm. Endless swarm is the keyword. So the problem is these are nine inch charges. I have two command points, so I can go for a reroll. Uh, I don't mind that there for a charge, but I need I need to tag these guys pretty badly because um, these guys are going to be hard to charge because they're split Matthew's forces. Yeah, you have. But I, if I can hold the back line long enough, then we we can be okay. Oh wait, no, shoot. When I move these guys, shoot. Yeah, no, the gene slayers, sorry. Oh, that's gonna, right. Yeah, had yeah, to, yeah. I had to keep this objective. So their job is to just hold off one of them. Yeah, so these guys will have advanced into the room. Makes complete sense. sense, yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm changing that because I realize I, I, if I don't do this, I don't get my one objective, and that's... that's points, are, points matter, man. In this one, of course, with how close it's going to be, it's going to be king. So that means I want them to charge that way. Which means Lichter is going to come over here. Exactly nine and one millimeter. <laughs> nine inch and one millimeter. We're, we're, we're just... And 20 Hormagons right behind them. Yeah, I'm starting to wish I hadn't put them in reserve. Just start them on the table. Because now that I see how much shooting you have, they would have been safe. Just I didn't kind have of, much, yeah. Yeah, I could have just kind of hid them. I could have run up midfield and been like, okay, I'll just wait. How many points for the 20? Like 140? Yeah, that's easy to throw on the table and yeah. distract. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. I think we're, with no shooting, we're going right to the charges, right? Yes, sir. Charging time! Death Leaper will declare just these guys as a charge target, and he will charge 12 inches! You go anywhere you want. I do want to go anywhere I want. So I'm going to stay over here, because he has a rule that you'll have to take battle shock. Well, he'd have to take battle shock anyways, but as long as they're injured, which they are. So you got everybody in Azora? No, but they only have to take battle shock if they're below full strength. Ah, uh, so Essentially, it's like... If you're below full strength, you count as being below half strength for battle shock purposes. And then these gene stealers will also declare them a charge target. Uh, seven. Seven. Well, that's plenty. Ba-boom. <clears throat> yes, we're all getting on the objective as much as we can. And then we're going to zip across the other side of the table and make some long bomb charges. We're going to be fine. I'm going to start this. So the question is, which one do I care more about getting in there? Because that's the one who I roll for but first. them, no. Yeah, there's more attacks, but I don't want them to block the lictor. But Hormigons. Nine inch charge. <sighs> I don't want to reroll, Steve. I don't want to reroll. You can't make me. If they get in, <laughs> I hold them. You're up. holding me forever. No, reroll that. Okay. Oh! Good, good, good. Uh, you've effectively taken them out of the game with a single charge. Yes. And I, so Lictor, I'm gonna go for the charge as well, <clears throat> just because maybe I can kill one of them. He fails. All right, Lictor, you're safe right there. You think? Oh, 
So the question is, do these guys charge in there and just use all these mass numbers to kill them? Because they're like four attacks each, two damage each. So yes. They, they can punch through these guys just True. fine. So, but these guys could also, they could they could do some work. How killy are they? Go, Matthew. some distractions. I realized, I'm like, wait, they're sitting on an objective. I kept thinking this is my home field objective. It's yeah. not. Yeah. That's one that I built. So uh, yeah. they've got to stay there. Because, oh, I don't like that, but they got to hold an objective. I wish I could detach from the unit, just have them fly off. But you can't. You can't. You can't. All right, that's all my charging. Okay, we're going to fight first. I cannot interrupt. Well, let's start over here Fair while we're here. here. This is BF. Eight guys in the fight, so 24 attacks coming in. Hitting on fours. Yeah, fours to hit. That's right. And sixes. Sixes to wound. We got one. Take it. Minus one. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Death Leaper is going to kill your dude and get me a command point, bringing me up to three, hopefully. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do the Gene Stealers first because maybe he wants to kill regular dudes. I would like the extra command point for killing a character, but they don't have invulns. He does. And yeah, so four Gene Stealers into that. He does give them a fill up and a six up. That's fine. Yeah. That's, gonna... that's whatever. Yeah. Looking at twos to hit, re-rolling ones. Oh, oh geez, that one's a re-roll. Yeah, oh, there was another one. That was a one. And they all hit. Perfect. 12 to 6. So four is to wound because I'm plus one to wound because you're battle shocked and a neurolictor is still within 12 inches. Gross. And re-roll ones because you're on an objective. But the sixes are not devastating because there's no broodlord. Hey, that's pretty good. So we're going to have a five up armor save from this. We roll uh, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, that's a pretty good roll. I think you lost two in a bit. Well, we have a six or feel no pain. One damage each. Come on, buddies. Come on, buddies. All right, we're going to lose two models. Exactly. Okay. Uh, you're going to take the objective from... Well, maybe. Uh, it depends how many survive. Yeah. Right now, it's yours. But the Death Leaper... All right, we're good. He's two. going now? Yeah, he's going. Two's to hit. Good. They all hit. Sixes don't do anything right. He's just got precision. Nothing else. And then we're looking at normally threes to wound, but twos because you're battle shocked and close to a neural lector. Man. So twos to wound. Say all but one. So your five up saves no matter what. Yeah, he's a five up. Five up have a lot of four. And you know what? Spoke. Let's let's start on him. Start on him. Yeah. Uh, so let's roll all together then. So you can. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I'll just say that they're all going to go on him until he dies. It's fives, right? Yeah, five up or five of them. Oh, you kills him. Son. No, no, he's got a six up. Oh, that's thing. true. How much it's damage? Four dam. It's a four damage total now. Kills so him. he dies. Ah, oh, I don't like that. I wanted to kill more and get you off the objective because I think. Well, you did. Oh, you're battle shocked. Oh, but you're gonna. I'm Maybe. gonna kill them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I have a three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter because you rolled two five ups. So at best, I would have killed one of them instead. Sure. So it's. it's yes, you get a command point. I get a command point because I killed a character with the Death Leaper. Yep. Lore wise, I'm doing great. <laughs> I've come in and killed your characters. That's his job. Seeing as how I do have the objective, we're going for the Leaper. Uh, how many woods does he have? Are they two objective control each? They're one each, but he's three, so I have So you have, have six, six on it, and I've got four on it, because he's only one. Oh, you know what? I've got five on it. So yes, you do have the objective, assuming you don't battle shock. Assuming I don't battle shock. Because they both have to take a battle shock test at minus one. Can you? I think I'm still within 12. Oh, yes. he's minus one anyway. No, no, it, it, no, he's not. Only, only against shooting. But you are minus one because of the Neurolictor. Okay. Um, how many wounds has he got? Like six, seven. Seven wounds at six toughness and a four up in vuln. All right, let's go, for, let's go for the squad. Let's go for the squad. We will do a dark pact for sustained hits. We're gonna go after the Gene Stealers. Minus one to hit. Fours to hit. Uh, the minus one did help a little bit. And then we're gonna have three more attacks for the sixes. And then threes, oh, only four wounds. How many mortal wounds? Oh, actually, enough. To, no, no, eight. Four, uh, four. Four mortal wounds. That just kills two. Yeah. So I'll just grab those two right now. And then two saves. Two saves that are two damage each. Yes, sir. Five up in vulns. So they're dead, too. You Got killed him. them all. Uh, that actually probably would have killed him. But uh, that's hindsight. He's got a four up in vulns. Yeah, but you rolled a one and two. Yeah, he would have been dead. <laughs> well, I didn't think I was going to get him, but either way. No, the Death Leaper survives. <laughs> Uh, then I guess I'll go fight with those. Yeah, punch a few Hormigons. Uh, threes and twos. I don't even want to... Oh, I'll do a dark pack for sustained. I didn't do any uh, sixes. Okay. Um, How many? What's you're going to take two. Oh, they're all dead. Eight, 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 eight die. Eight die. And then I'm good. No damage. I'm not below half strength, though. 
So I'm still good. All right, killing eight is actually not bad. I feel a little that, better. I just, I washed, I rolled you them You did off. perfect. You killed exactly the number yeah. of attacks that you had. End of your turn. I'm whittling through these nids, but you are, you do have a significant point lead. Yeah, I'm trying to think. So, okay, end of my turn. <laughs> I score, I'm, I'm looking at the order of operations here because I have an objective, or sorry, a, a, an invisible hunter. No, it's your opponent's fight phase. Never mind. I was doing the thing where I'd disappear. Oh, right. And I was thinking of popping them, because if it's the end of the turn, I can score my points and have them pop. But it's the end of your opponent's fight phase. So that's not right now. Air denial accomplished. So I get 10 points. because uh, Extend battle lines. Extend battle lines to hold this one and one in no man's land, which either of those work. And then area denial, I got the middle as well. Um, and if, if luck helps me here, that's two battle shock tests at minus one. If they both fail, you won't get five victory points. So That's I'm, true. I'm, I'm kind of counting on it, because these guys don't have to take Battleshock tests. I have no way to force it. Um, and then the Neuroelector can do a second try on a, on both on either of them. So if one of them fails naturally, then he can try to force the other one to fail again. So that, I think the Neuroelector is pretty cool. Well, we'll we're right there. Oh, actually, what's your total score? Okay, well, I'm up to 25. I've got nine uh, plus five. I have 14, actually, sorry. Oh, you're doing fine then. Yeah. We thought you were much lower. Well, than that. well, we finished. We finished one. That's only two battle rounds. Two battle rounds. You had a nice lead. Yeah, but I'm almost tabled. It's true. Like, what do I have left? I have the Death Leaper, little group, uh, Neurolictor, group of GNC oh, these guys. Like, yeah, it sounds like can, a lot, but I think I can break your back this time. Yeah, you're, I think this turn will kind of mark the end. But I want to. I still want to play though because I'm having fun. I will absolutely doing cool stuff with that awesome Death I'm Leaper. I'm gonna just real quick draw a couple of cards. Yeah. I got deploy teleport Homer. Ah, oh, come on. And then overwhelming force, kill go. things on objectives. I have lots of things on objectives. This is my whole, this is my whole plan anyway. Yeah. Sorry for that, actually. Uh, okay, we're just getting command points. And I'm up some... to four command points. Yes, we're spending those, these? bro. Let me use some battle shock tests. Uh, them. So minus one, remember? So seven plus. Oh, they're fine. And then him. him. At least fail with him. He, he failed. So I'm going to force them to do it again at minus one. Dang it. So you get the objective. I, ah. Do I? Are you three? He's only one. He's only one. Yeah. The lifters are not meant to hold objectives. I got two objectives for uh, five, sorry, 10 primary. Yeah. And then we're going to begin the moves. Ooh. Huh. You want to fall, fall back? back, you can disappear, can't you? At the end of your fight phase. So you still have a chance. Uh, well, you can redeploy, though, right? Uh huh. For two and get outside of six inches of my guys. That's right. But you can still move then. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Let's start. Let's do some. You know, let's start this right now. Um, they're going to. Fall back. You know what? Because I want to show it off and I've got four command points, I'm going to spend two command points and two units within nine inches can move six inches. Oh, two of them! That's right. <laughs> you didn't get them. And I'm not even going to let you take it back yeah, because this is inconsequential. <laughs> <laughs> I still got you. He's going this way. Woo! Part of me just wants to like actually go that way and just be like, deal with me, dude. But no, he's, he's one more character. Yeah, he's going for a he's going for a hat trick. No, of character all kills. three of them. All three of them. I don't care who. Can wins. you charge on my turn at all? Uh, heroic intervene. Then you're, you're not going to make it your turn, so it's fine. Well, no, you can you can come over there and I charge, will charge me, dude. No, <laughs> you fight first. No, <laughs> and the neurolector gets to move six inches as well. And uh, I don't know. He doesn't care actually. I just wanted to show that I could do it too. You can get on the side going that way. He's going to go like this. He's, stay, he's staying on the objective though. There we go. All right, your turn. Oh, I mean, I'm, don't fall back. Kill eight more. I don't think there's any value to killing eight more. Yeah, if you fall back, I just charge you again. Can you walk them forward four inches for me? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> no, I think... Now you go, Bruh, and you kill me, and you take the objective. Oh, did you throw away your... Oh, crap, I still had a card. So, which one did you draw first? I drew Teleport Homer first. I don't get this one yet. I still have Capture Enemy Outpost. I'll be discarding both of those for a command point. Oh, no, I'll, I'll be getting that this turn. Uh, I guess I'm going for over there. Yeah. <laughs> so the, they walked up. They ran this way. They ran up. He ran, he ran away. Around. He's like, that thing's coming for me. Well, I couldn't get within six, so I couldn't roast you. So I didn't want to get closer to you. You can charge me. You'll be fine. Look at your I, weapons. I will charge you with this to finish you off. Yes, of course. Um, okay, and then, oh, and then. They no, he's Battleshock. You keep that token there. Wait, he was one of those Battleshock? Yeah, he was Battleshock. Sorry, the other sorry, one's them. At the end of my turn, my movement, I'm going to do an action. Place one right here. Oh, yeah, there should be an objective right here. That doesn't matter. So it is, This is actually going to matter for me because I'm going to kill you, but I'm going to run out of points. I need any points. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's start shooting. Uh, 
They'll go first. I'm gonna spend a command point so only ones within six inches can fire at me. The other ones can. The only weapon range is my pistol, so my last cans will not fire this game. Uh, they have no other targets they can see. This lip is protecting him from getting seen. He's so tiny. Flamer hits six times. Is it a hand flamer at least? No, it's a flamer. So five's to wound. Stop it. <laughs> it's not devastating or anything, right? No, no, it's just a flamer. <laughs> Four up in bonds. <laughs> ah. All right, he's down to five wounds. Um, my Venom Crawler wants to shoot at you. He's going to do a dark... What's your toughness? Seven. So he's going to do... If you're seven, I'm going to do dark pack for lethal. I would love to do... Seven. Six. All right, we're going lethal. Six. 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 Ooh, then we're going sustained. We're winning on fours. And, uh... Um, Minus one to hit. I would love to do profane zeal, but you're messing with my bravery. <laughs> so we're hitting on fours. Six are going to be two hits. Oh, stop it. So we're going to leave these in as hits. I forgot I'm fighting against Steve. Yeah, you the, worse, the worse you make him roll, the better he does. I, the thing is, I keep telling everybody, you got to fight my me, my luck, and my dice. Yeah. And I guess that's part of my luck. And my army. Force to wound. Is it enough to kill you? It's a minus one for two. Yeah, it's enough to kill me. I have to fail three out of four four-up saves, though. Can be done. Can be done. Oh, absolutely. Watch. Oh, oh. I did the opposite. You got three wounds left? Three wounds left. That means we gotta fight him. Yeah. Uh, do it. Do, do it. it. <laughs> I can't do anything to you. You I can shoot over here. Shoot I know, over. I got one more thing I can do. Uh, okay, uh, they are gonna go ahead and shoot out the Gribblies here. Um, so you can make sure, because you're not on the objective. Yeah, yet. I'm gonna do Dark Pact for Sustained. And once again, we're gonna go for Ruinous Salvo for the uh, Strength. Oh, did you have a, a, a leadership test back here for some mortal wounds? Fine. It was at minus one, so it yeah. mattered. What about the dude that fired the flamer? I didn't do it because it's only a flamer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it, it does nothing for the flamer whatsoever. You, sh you should have done it anyway. It doesn't roll the hit. I'm sorry. Hey, please, help. <laughs> please, oh, please help. Please help, God. It didn't work. <laughs> uh, can I take this roll for that? All right, so it's 2d6 hits. So 2d6 attacks. No. Uh, so we have six, eight attacks because there are five models in this blast. So it's seven attacks. It's plus one. No, oh, it's, there's, it's, there's two of them. One, yeah, two of them. There's two of them. You're right. Uh, three's to hit? Yeah. Oh. No minus. We're going to spend a command point. Are you? For uh, what's it called? Um. Profane zeal. <laughs> he literally went to everyone except the Found one. It. <laughs> I saw it from the side. I'm like, I wonder when he's going to find it. Threes. Ah, uh, we re roll ones anyway. <laughs> there we go. Uh, an extra hit. Well, isn't that nice? Boom. Not a fine how do you do. <laughs> Two's to him. <laughs> uh, re uh, rolling. Any devastated in there? No. Uh, uh, we have. no. Can you hear that? No. 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 <laughs> you get cover. What's your armor <laughs> save? Uh, five up. What's your AP? Two. So I got five up in ball. Fair. Nine, there was nine of them, right? Yep. One damage each? Just two each. Oh, come on. Get off my table. What are they, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> almost, almost made it. Uh, I thought he was full at the start of my turn because we went to lunch. Uh, he's not. I'm not charging you. Charge, dude. Nope. Like charge, I can, just charge all of oh, them. They can't charge. They fell back. Matthew, I can't even see him. He's all stealthy like. No, whatever. We're charging over here. Well, though. then I'm playing one more turn just so I can charge him in and, and kill more stuff. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> We're charging. Uh, no Overwatch, right? Nope. You did it. I'm going to fight there first, with, and I'll use Profane Zeal, and what's your toughness? Well, four until... Uh, five. Five. Just five. Uh, we're only on threes, four. so I'm going to do sustained hits. So we're hitting on threes. Rerolling everything because of Profane Zeal. It missed anyway, but it hits because of... Uh, sustained. sustained. And we're winning on threes, and we're going to reroll everything. A uh, AP? Uh, two. Seven at minus two. Okay. One second. Six up says they're dead. Right? He's dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got him. All right, we are going to score. Capture enemy outpost. Woo! Deploy teleporter do. You did. Hold on, you still got a fight over here. That's true. My Hormigons get to chew up your... Uh, I'll, I'll just discard this. Your full health obliterators. And Matthew doesn't want to roll it. I don't want to roll no, it. No, you, you kill a bunch. That's going to go back and forth. The Lictor will come in and help. I could maybe eventually eat through them, but it's like, so what? So really, this is an all... objective here, an objective here. No, no, no. This, this is all very simple, Steve. I know what you're going to do. It's a hat trick. Yep. All right. And you ha you'll have a command point to issue Overwatch. Yep. But I'm still doing it. Yep. Where's my measure? You charge me for the line of sight? Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to try that. Um, I'm going to roll his advance. He does not hit any mines. Before you move, I will Overwatch. With him? He's too far away. Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I'm going to get it's you. Minus one to hit, which doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's so all these dice here. And these are one damage each? Oh, we're going to do profane These zeal. are one damage each, though, right? 
So these are one two damage. damage each. No, we're gonna do lethal. Sorry, we're gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do no. Um, that many dice can't be two damage. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't believe six you. to hit, and then I'm actually wound. Okay, this is this is, this is nonsense. <sighs> you get to reroll anything. They reroll once. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. Carry on. I still feel like you're lying to me. <laughs> no, it's actually. There's, so you had 14 attacks. Yeah, so he, with he, two has, damage he has two guns. There are six attacks each, but because he killed a. Oh, sure, you know, but they're two damage? Yeah. That's so many shots. Yeah. How many points is he? 140. Uh, okay. He's a tank, yeah. Yeah. But as a tank that can fight. All right, so now I'm going after you. So, so that, you don't have to be a lifesight anymore. I know. You don't have to be. Yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> I know, I was, I was tracing my line. Oh, I see. Okay, uh, Neurolictor is going to help. <laughs> you want to draw your cards? Because you, you are winning. You are winning. Why no. Did you, why did you just draw them? No. Stop I'm, it. You, you, no, because it'll draw keep, something that will make you me keep, want to. You keep moving. I want to take a look at what this card is. I already got Assassinate. All right? That's all that mattered. No, Matthew. No, Matthew. One of them is Storm Hostile Objective. No. <laughs> Steve, I'm going for the hat trick. Neurolictor is going to advance. Yeah, he's going to get to right here. He's going to finish you off somehow. It's going to be quite the ignominious death. I don't know what that word means. It means uh, humiliating. But it's just a fancy word. I don't know what that word means either. <laughs> what are you shooting to do? She brought a gun. No, I don't have any gun. <laughs> this is the Vanguard, dude. I get super nervous. Yeah, this is post-game talk. Uh, go ahead and charge. All right. Uh, Deathly for first. He made it. And, yeah, I don't know why I'm measuring. And then the Neuroelector is coming in, too. So there's no real... Okay, yeah. Actually, what's going to happen then... So I'm going to force the battle shock test on you for a command point, just before the death leaper goes. And <laughs> you failed it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> plus one to hit. Plus one to wound. The plus one to wound's all that matters. Oh, this is going to be great. I, if I kill him, I win. You realize, right? <laughs> you win the you win the moral game, and I will be upset. Hold on. There's a gambit in here. I think. Oh no. Uh, gambit. And the three. Kill all characters. I'd end the three. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, you know, hold you know on, what? Give, me, give me a pen. You, you, can, you can say that, Matthew, <laughs> right. and then me and most of the audience doesn't game it ever. That we I would, know, we, we would I, I, it. I forgot they exist until I looked over there and saw the cards, because <laughs> the game never goes past turn three, and if it does, you don't want to gambit. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, I'm plus one to hit, plus one to wound, um, because of that, and then he also gets plus one to wound, because he's got his own built-in aura of everybody gets plus one to wound, so he's actually plus two to wound. Gross. We just can't do plus two. Do you have any minuses or anything that you want to do? Any just last toughness, words? Not <laughs> no stratagems. You know, I, I, I'll just build up. You can whip it. I'm going to. Six attacks from the Death Leaper. Hitting on twos. Ah, there's a one. That's okay. One's okay. Toughness nine. So it's strength seven. So five's normally. So four's to wound. To wound. Dang it. Only two of them. That's enough to kill you. Minus two, two damage each. Don't you dare make both of them. Just make lose, fail one of them. Okay, good. Wait. He can't reroll. He's he's battle shocked. I was gonna point out though, you're not getting the hat trick on him. No, I got the neurolictor to kill him. Yeah, but the death leaper just couldn't do it, huh? That, no, it doesn't matter. The neurolictor's helping. He's done the two. This is a team effort. <laughs> it's the lictors working together. He's he's linked in the brain. It counts as the death leaper. Um, okay, so now the neuro you're changing the moral victory. <laughs> it's my moral victory. I can make it whatever the crap I want. Six attacks. They're only one damage each though. Hitting on twos. Okay, good. All thing. right, there good you go. Thing. There we are. Uh, strength six, but plus one to wound. So right. five, four is to wound. wound. Yep. Dang it! You've got to fail both. What five ups? I see back line. You, <laughs> you can't because you're battle shocked. <laughs> Alright, so we're right to the post then. Um, Borrow so, the <laughs> The Chaos may have won the game of the ritual battle, uh, but you actually assassinated all the It's leaders. a minefield. I leave them to it. <laughs> well, and, like, you, the next day, come back to all their corpses. With my assimilation. You, take, you got the brains that you, you needed, you got the memories that you needed. Yeah, I just transmitted those back to the High Fleet, and I know, I know all your plans now, Steve. And, like, seriously? That's, pretty, some, that's some pretty disgusting stuff you got, I, I got planned for the future, but, like. I know all the stats for his YouTube channel now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm lo we're logged into the same computer, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned all your secrets. Uh, okay, Did you well, know he shaves three times a day? <laughs> I, I, I'm not making any more jokes. 
Um, I lost my train of thought. Okay, well, Chaos, I, you know what? I feel like every time I play with or against Chaos, Chaos just wins. Is Chaos just really dang strong? Um, I don't think my army, like, when I look back at my army, it's, I don't think it's really optimized. Um, so I don't sure, of course I, not. You pick an attachment, the one that I find the most interesting, to be honest with you. I, I think because what happened is I had a second Tyranid Prime. No, I don't know if that would have worked. Maybe it would have worked. What was supposed to be in the list was another unit of Tyranid Warriors with another um, Prime with wings. Okay. But I, I, I forgot that I gave that to one of the painters to match because he's painting a right. winged Hive Tyrant. Fair. A winged Hive Tyrant in this would have been fantastic too. Yep, would have helped. And because that thing gets all those vanguard. Well, things. I didn't have I other than my obliterators, I didn't have anything to deal with uh, high toughness things. Yeah. Also, it wouldn't have hurt to have a Tyranid Prime with wings with a group of gargoyles, um, because they still. As yeah, much but as, what would you have cut? No, that would have been instead of the second group of warriors. Oh, no, okay. no, no. See, see, what happened is when I realized I didn't have it, I took it out and I added another lictor and two more neuro lictors. Mm. I don't think that's really an optimal thing. Okay, hold on, yeah. Okay, thoughts with the neural lictor. I love it. Okay, but why? you don't want three of them, so. And they're they're singles. You can't make a squad. No, but they're sixty points. Uh, at least at the time of the printing of the book, maybe by who yeah, knows. Fair. That's they'll change all the time. But they're but you saw what they did. They handed out that that debuffing <sighs> so well. You were battle shocked like crazy, and they let me do it twice. So the death leaper's handing out some battle shock, and he's handing out some battle shock, and I got an I got. Um, a, a stratagem that can do it in the shooting phase and fight phase. So, like those gargoyles, they can come in, they target a unit, force a battle shock test. Either way, get plus one to hit. And if you fail the battle shock test, you're they're plus one to wound. All of a sudden, it's a strength five minus one or strength five gun, not minus one AP, with plus one to wound from twenty guys who have sustained hits, by the way, yeah. because the prime gives them sustained hits. So, I think that. There needs to be a bit more mixture of some shooting in this, because in 40k, let's just face it, like shooting is... Uh, uh, melee just doesn't work. Melee works no. if your opponent's not always just playing. Well, okay, hold on, to be fair, melee I should, works I should here. say no, but uh, this melee unit works. No, I did no, bring no. Melee, melee units work if your opponent doesn't just gun line shooting and, and all that kind of, and like fast shooting that stuff. Yeah, true, but what I mean is, yeah, fair, but that's like saying, like that doesn't, you see that in any edition, melee works if your opponent doesn't bring any guns. Well, no, I see melee always worked for me in earlier editions. It's gotten a little harder in this edition. But, I, I, not, I, but not, to be honest, not too much, because I like lots of terrain, and so that helps mitigate some of it. And For the first time, I brought a 10-man squad of Legionnaires with chain swords. I was going to try to just do a bunch of melee attacks and, like, like let's say 40 attacks. I was going to do profane zeal, reroll and hit into wound. That would have been cool. And uh, got charged by Gene still. You, 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 you didn't let me. <laughs> no. I think that's the other thing, too. I think, so I had three groups of five Gene Stealers. Totally would have made it two groups, or sorry, take, take two of those groups, put them together, and then drop the other one for a Broodlord. Okay. So now I have two groups of Broodlords and Gene Stealers for the same points. Gene Stealers, oh, you think they're not too expensive still? I love them. I think they're appropriate. You did roll a lot of sixes for your advances. I, I think they're appropriately costed. But they die really fast. Not really fast. They're two wounds each. You happen to have a lot of two damage. Are they weapons. not, how many points for five? 95. 180 points for the 10 man squad. That's 190. Not 190. 190. It's not That's 200. How much did you spend on the, the, the Broodlord? Another 90. 90? So you're, you're still so under 300 points for that 280 squad. 280 for a Broodlord and 10 Gene Stealers who all have 5 up involved. The only problem is, is they're finding combat, and they're good in combat, in fact. Uh, they're going to survive combat, but they're not going to survive shooting. That's fine. Because it's all about trading in the right places, right? It's about holding your opponent back. And so, and, and okay, you're talking to me right here. I'm not a tournament player. I'm playing narrative games. I am. I go to tournaments every weekend. Yeah, right. I, I, you know what? I ate three of the brains. I know you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, my mouth was moving. Of course I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, so, so I'm the last person you should really ask. Like, like no, the, I, the I, best. Agree with, I agree with the, the humbleness you're about to do right now. But let's be honest, Warhammer is a lot of math, and we can do math. We can do math. I, I understand. But this, it's more complex than that because there's a lot of combinations that the points don't account for necessarily. I and think, so all I know, all I know yeah. is that the Brewlord and Gene Stillers is super scary. Every time I've brought them in the few games that I've played in 10th, the opponent has been scared of them. They kill stuff, and then they die. My opinion they always is, die, though. My opinion is very stuff. simply, and it's amplified in that type of unit, but it's also different play styles. Um, if, if you were unable to fall back from combat, that squad would be overpowered. But because you can fall back from combat, they're just going to die. Yeah, because they tag things and then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. But I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I'm having fun. Every game of 10th I've played so far, I've been having fun. And, um, yeah, like all the other games that you're going to see today for our Tyranid games, they were, they were a, 
I'm assuming there's one I haven't played yet as of the filming, but all the other ones I've played have been a lot of fun. And so it's, it's, that's all I really care, right? Like it's, in the end, yeah, you won. But my, the Death Leaper, he performed great. He did exactly what he wanted to. The, I got to see the Neuralic. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I got to see the Neuralicters doing things. Somebody has to lose every game, yes. right? And so let's say everything was perfectly balanced and everybody was equally strategic. You're going to lose half your games. Yes. So if you're only having fun when you're winning your games, you're in the wrong hobby. You're, you're in the wrong hobby. So what I, and, and this, is, this took me years to learn. And in fact, I want to make a video about this because it's basically what Scari taught me about how to have fun at the game. And that is, you're here to see cool crap happen. Even when your opponent does it. I, and especially when your opponent does yeah. it. And when you, because if you can cheer for the cool stuff your opponent does, then you're going to have the time of your life. And so that's why, for me, the most pressure is in the first two turns of the game. Because... I want to see my cool stuff happen. I don't know if it will, because maybe my opponent will just get lucky and kill everything. Or I'll do, I could have done that shout on the warp and you could have passed them all easily. Seven yeah. plus, that's not hard. That's a 55% chance. You could have easily passed lots of them. I've seen plenty of games where they did. But the fact that that worked, the fact that the Death Leaper was responsible for three character deaths, I know the, <laughs> the Neuralicter finished him off, but he, he softened him up. So, and, and he also helped fell Battle Shock and stuff. So either way, the fact that my Lictors got in there, all the different Lictors. They did their thing. And they did their things, right? They, they went after characters, they killed them. I think the only one thing, so you can talk about changing your list and all that kind of nonsense that you did, and we, I love that kind of theory craft, but one change to this game that would have made a huge difference, and you, are, you, you said it first, you put the Harmon on the table, Yeah, a different game. I should have started them on the table. Different game. And I don't think they belong in a Vanguard list. How they, come? Because they, all the cool stratagems don't apply to them. Oh, fair point. So the stratagems are usually Tyranid infantry or two Vanguard infantry, and so it hurts to use it on them. Um, and also like that thing forcing a battle shock that that's an awesome stratagem. It's only Vanguard and so yeah they, they can are the reason I thought they fit is because they already can advance and charge and so that fits the theme But they can't use the, some of the cool stratagems. They can use some of them But this the, the most cool stratagems they can't use Like not you like the whole when you go to shoot at somebody now You can't shoot at them because they're more than 12 inches I away. That. That's a Vanguard that. thing That's not tearing at infantry and so that was uh, that was clutch so many times where I could be like, my neurolictor is just standing there. You know what? Because I'm, I'm, I'm a war gamer, so I have to find a reason to complain about something because I really like all the attachments. Uh, the new problem that we're going to have is, oh, that strategy I was about to use or I used last battle round. That, that actually doesn't apply to this detachment I'm playing. It's a different detachment with that strategy. Yeah, you're going to forget. That's going to be my, my next problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought when I was looking at it, because there's another detachment that you, there's one of the enhancements is plus two move. And so when I was building this list in my mind, you thought about that. I was like, oh yeah, and I'll totally give the warriors plus two to move because all of a sudden they're moving eight inches and they have fly, and that's awesome. But then I was like, no, that's not in this one. But that's fine because this one you have other cool stuff too. So yeah, that that'll be an interesting one is remembering which strategies are for which detachments. But I, I love it. I love the themed attachments. I can't wait to play them all. I wish there was a. I wish there was more. Um, I I almost want to. Well, create. we have room in White Dwarfs for stuff to come out now. Right? I hope I hope they do that. As much as I don't like spreading out all the stuff like or that. Or campaign books. Yeah, like narrative ones. Like I want to see like a subterranean assault one. I want, to, I want to see a seeding one where it's all about tyrannocytes and spore mines and stuff like that. That would be cool. Yeah. It would be cool. And it doesn't have to be anything overpowered. It's just well, like, it's, it's just one rule, a few enhancements and a few stratagems. It's actually yeah, no, quite I th easy I think to I think this new setup leads into the ability to do exactly that. Yeah. The hard thing will just be like balancing the stratagems, make sure that they're... Stop worrying about balance. You know, turn my no, no, I know, but you don't want to... I, I hate things like the grenade stratagem or the, the command point reroll, where you know it's what you're supposed to do, but you want to do something cooler. <laughs> grenade, 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 grenade. So, so for me, I'm not talking about balancing necessarily like, like this one's just super powered, because if it's situational, like... Uh, you know, on a charge, you get to do this thing. Well, that's whatever. It's one command point. Should have been two, but so what? Because it's only on the charge. It's not like the grenade one where it's like, I'm just near you, and so I better spend a command point to throw some mortal wounds at you. It's just like, that's, that's boring. And command point reroll, if I had my way, that'd be out of the game. And there might be situational rerolls instead. But command point reroll, no. Don't, when in a game that only gives you at most three command points per turn, it doesn't... It's just, it's uh, just, you get, you know, there's three grenades. So it's yeah. a feel bad strategy no matter what. Because either you got through the guy's three up in, or four up in Vuln, and you're like, yes, and then he rerolls and gets it. Or you get through his four up in Vuln, and he rerolls and fails it. It's just a feel bad. And I realize that's just what a roll is, but it's, it's different when you like see the roll, and then you get to like manipulate it. It's just... I find it's, it breaks down a little bit more for me. If my army has a bunch of stratagems that I want to use, 
um, I'm going to use command point rerolls if my stratagems cost one. If my good stratagems cost two, you'll never see me reroll in that game. Like the only place I able to use it was like a charge. And I, I should have. Strategically, there's a couple places I should have used it. But I'm like, no, I want to use these cool stratagems. And I think that's my, when I talk about balance, I talk about that. It's not so much like this is overpowered or not. It's like if there's something that you're going to use all the time. Like if you're, if you're saving a command point every single turn or battle round for one specific stratagem, I don't like that. Not for you, but well, I mean that that stratagem. So it's not tier related, but here's my suggestion for Games Workshop to fix Profane Zeal. So Matthew, how Profane Zeal actually works is you spend one command point, you need to reroll ones to hit into wound. But if you're, if you're Chaos Undivided, you it's reroll re all to hit into wound. Yeah. So I would say, uh, here's my suggestion for Games Workshop. Make it so that um, you can choose to do the uh, upgraded version if you're Mark of uh, Divided, but it costs two CP. Profane, one command point to reroll all to hit into wound, too cheap. Yeah. Too cheap. It's going to be something you want to do every I'm time. I'm still right? going to regularly use it at 2 CP. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's little things like that, right? If you're, it's basically as a game developer, if you're watching, you have a group of stratagems and people are just using the one. Yes, exactly. You're like, okay, well. Even when other just, things just are for good. interest, Just for yeah. interest reasons, adjust it, make it worse, or make it cost an extra command point. Because that instantly, if you double the command points of something, that, like that, that time when I moved the Death Leaper and the Neurolictor, like that was just a show off that I had a lot of command points. Two command points is a, is a tough thing to decide to do. Well, I find and like so. uh, sometimes, I mean, it's conversation going on forever, but sometimes uh, I'll be like you in turn three with four command points because I have a lot of good stratagems, but like the threat of the stratagem is preventing my opponent from allowing me to use them. Whereas I'll play Chaos, no matter what, there's always a reason for, for, for profane zeal. So you're always spending Yeah, reroll hits and wounds is going to yeah. work no matter what. No matter what. Yeah, always, always, always. Yeah. But that was a lot of fun. I don't care that I lost. I got to do cool crap. Cool I got crap to charge cool. with Gene Stealers and, and eat a unit. I got the Death Leaper to kill stuff. The Neurolictor to, to, to help with Battle Shock. That was fun. Good yeah. game, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you drop it in the back wins, but. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. There will be plenty more to watch upcoming and plenty more already on the channel to watch if you haven't already done so. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's really helpful for the channel. Comment below. Engage with Algorithmo. Helps with the channel a whole bunch. And think about joining the channel. There is a join button right next to the subscribe button. So I know you already clicked that button. Uh, learn about everything you get from becoming a channel member, access to Discord and a bunch of other extra videos. We're going to think of uh, some people over here scrolling by. These are the Rock Jocks and Peak Supporters. They're higher tier channel members that uh, they do a lot to help this channel keep it going. Can't do without each and every one of these people over here. Super appreciate them all. See you in the next one, guys. Happy Wargaming.